<laughs> We're going old school today. I'm on a GoPro. I have a film. My chair just broke. Hang on. Time out. My chair's just gonna stay broken. My main camera broke. We'll get it fixed or replaced or whatever. Filming on a GoPro. I haven't done this in forever. Anyway. We're gonna do some more mods to the 2021 Mach 1 Mustang that we have behind us that is ESS supercharged and all these other bells and whistles and everything that looks good. Look at these GT500 style side skirts. We did that in the last video. Click on the card above if you were interested. They look good. But today, what we're gonna be doing is a couple of things. Diodynamics, LED side markers, and then we have the third brake light. We also have the entire uh, LED kit for the interior of the car. So this is going to be kind of cool, especially the interior. I've never done that. I've, I may have messed with the exterior, some of the lights, but never the inside. So this is going to be very interesting for me. Hopefully I don't break anything. So Diodynamics has like the best reputation out there. We wanted to, the chair's breaking again. We definitely wanted to go with a brand that, you know, is going to hold up and uh, with good customer service. And Diodynamics is obviously a clear answer there. So anyway, we're going to do that. And then we're going to do some other couple of things, I think. We'll just see how far we get in this video. But guys, here we go. Let's get started. Let's start modding our 2021 Mach 1 Mustang and uh, chair's broken. My camera broke, my chair's breaking. Hopefully this install, we don't break nothing else. You guys cross your fingers. Yeah, I'll just fix it later. Yeah, again, I'm kind of nervous about this whole GoPro video. It's not normally my thing, but anyway, let's check out what's inside of the box here. Inside of the box is, so we have our LED lights. I want to treat those with a little bit of finesse. We have our side markers. So we got the smoked out version. These are supposed to be really easy to replace. Let's see, we're gonna be replacing the red with the smoked out. I think that, oh yes. And this, we have our third brake light. We're gonna be replacing that third brake light right back there. And then we're gonna jump to the inside of the car and then start going throughout the entire, I guess, interior and changing things out. Hopefully we catch a break, no pun intended. Actually, we hope we don't break anything else. So <laughs> put it outside and give it a wash because it's filthy right now. And then we're gonna finish this video in the dark so you guys can see how bright things get. Actually, we can go ahead and start right now. This is uh, obviously as bright as the OEM is. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the third brake light to begin with. So this is a Mach 1 and basically it's the same install as like a GT350 and GT350R. So a little bit more involved. There's a rear belly pan that we got to take off. So it's going to take a little bit of work to get it off. But I'm going to show you how to do that real quick in case you have one of these cars and you're interested in one of these kits. But the install looks pretty straightforward. Pretty much plug and play, I think. So, but you do have to take, as you saw, all this stuff apart so that we can actually fold down this and get to the clips down here right back here on each side and then we got this rear tray back here so a few bolts and it's going to come out and then we can gain access to the light so we have our pigtail it is a male and a female and they basically pigtail in between so you can't really mess it up because it's male and female then you have that center wire here that goes from one side to the other that's what connects the two and then you have this exposed wire that's actually going to feed down into the bottom of the car we're going to actually go through this body fill uh, plug right here. We're going to poke a hole, feed this red wire down through, and then tuck the wires and make it look all nice and factory so you can't see anything. All right, so all we got to do, reach our hands back here and plug male female. It's going to plug in just between, just like that. I guess you could tape this back there, zip tie it, or however you want it to be. I don't think it's going to make any noise. I'll probably run some zip ties, like maybe right there, so it doesn't move around. And then this will just sit right there. Male to female, and so next step is going to be this little panel. It's made of rubber. It's not plastic, and we're just going to take this applied uh, screwdriver here, poke a hole through it. Hold, I don't want to make a hole that's any bigger than we need to. Fine. That way, it's good. It's con it'll conform around the wire once we feed it through. Since it's made of rubber, and then we'll just fish it right down here. That should be it. All right, moving on underneath of the car. So the only thing we're really going to need is a 10 mil. You're going to have four bolts and one here here and then two up there you'll see in a second mm, i like power tools better let's do that
and then it looks like we on a 350 you have more push clips it looks like they actually replaced some of these with uh, those are probably seven so one two three four and five on a mach one up and down up and down appreciate you guys watching i think that's a seven let's make sure yeah, close enough Um, pretty cool to see that on a Mach 1 because you can get a clear eye of sight back here to the uh, the rear diff cooler and everything Which is really neat if you're spending the money on a Mach 1 It's cool to see like all the stuff that goes into the package and why it costs so much. So anyway, we're gonna feed this through Hang this out of the way for now and then Should be able to get our hands yep up here twist out this third brake light All right now we can see this guy and this is where our uh little red wire is going to actually plug into the center here because there's not filled in see right back here you just got two wires we want to fill in the back of this in the same orientation that it's supposed to go in into this right here so that we can get our third brake light to actually function all right i got a problem so on the mach 1 obviously ford changed a couple of little things since 2016 so uh they filled in the plastic back here we take this clip out of it okay and then if you, i don't know if you can tell this on camera but there is a hole that is it would be there but it's filled in with plastic so i'm gonna have to actually drill but the rest of this plug you see how it's such a big gap in the center there so that's to hold that in place so i think that we're gonna have a slight issue i'm gonna have to probably feed this through clip it in and then clip the rest i don't know i gotta get creative and figure this out i mean if it don't work it's not gonna hurt anything i'm just going right through there just to be careful with the wires but ford changed it so we'll just adapt kind of interesting and fun to be the guinea pig but sometimes scary at the same time but we're just going to drill a hole and i hope all goes well let's make sure we're going the right way right through the center yeah that was close okay we got a hole perfect let's come through the back side normally okay it's got these plugs right okay so you'd feed this in and it's going to sit up against the plug and it will but i think what we're going to have to do is run this through okay once we install it then we're going to have to attach to the center what is this called <laughs> we got this um center connection piece right here and so we're gonna uh we're gonna connect that in the center because that's where it would be and then clip this back into place we should be fine and then i'm just gonna weatherproof it in the back with a lot of uh, waterproof tape okay if we're gonna reuse this i need to uh get rid of this center section of the plastic there to make this work because it's blocking it so a simple razor blade's gonna fix that got that pretty cleaned up inside got that little spot out of the way and again if this doesn't work it's not gonna hurt anything because nothing was there in the center anyway we're just thinking outside of the box i'm bound and determined to make this work okay once that is fully seated that worked perfectly then we're just gonna slowly feed this back up if all goes well it should clip right back into place just like that and before we install it we're gonna test it should hit unlock and look at that it freaking works dude that's so awesome i'm gonna weatherproof the back of this yeah i'm just gonna wrap up the back of this make sure no water gets in there nothing like that no debris and then reinstall everything our rear belly tray pan whatever you want to call it back on and then we're gonna move on to the side markers which should be honestly about 15 seconds per side it should be really easy one remove and this is really easy so it literally sits see that little slide clip right there it literally sits back in there like that in a little groove and then that little section right there just snaps in again if you've never done it before i mean you know just take your time but i mean honestly that was about five seconds to actually remove that really really easy and then we're going to grab the correct side yep so this is going to go just like this and it should just snap in perfect just like that oh my gosh that looks so much better so much better so much better so oh, it's always the little things that add up so you got red okay and then you got the smoked out version they also make these in clear if you want to go that route but i think it ties very nicely together with the rest of the black trim here the uh, decals on the car that looks really cool so and then we just go underneath plug it back up and give it a test make sure it looks good i'm really impressed with the fit and finish of all this i mean dynamics is basically like oem as much as you can get 
you know, while it's going aftermarket. And we'll just make sure that we keep these if we ever, ever decide to go back to stock. But I don't think that's going to be for a long time. Let's give it a test. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. The interior, so most of this is pretty much the same, except that the 18 Plus has a new design here. So instead of pulling this all the way down, should just be able to pop out these little end caps here. We'll just use the little screwdriver that they sent. Let's look at, oh, that comes out real easy. Look at that, okay, perfect. Okay, I can just pry it out carefully. And that is hot. All right, so my luck, uh, one of the clips moved back inside, so I had to figure out how to take this off. So lucky you, you get to see how this is done. But all right, so on the 18 Plus, this is how this goes. So I used to be able to just kind of like pull down. Now they have these style clips that go up into the white uh, section here. So luckily, you know, we got it out without breaking. So what you got to do is pull down and you got to use some force, but just, you know, you know your limit when you're pulling down on the front part of this. Get a little screwdriver like I was using before, like that one right there. And then you're going to try to side by side push these in. Or if you got like some long needle nose or whatever, you can grab a hold of them. But anyway, that'll pop out. You get the other side. And then now we can gain access to our light. You see how this actually like recessed and fell back inside of it? All right, so one is in. Let's work on the other. All right, that went through as well. So pretty tough. So you're probably going to run into the same situation. Just be very careful when you're doing these. All right, snap, snap. And I want to test this before I put it back up into the car. All right, let's hit unlock. Now let's see. And boom. Yep, magic. All right, so we're good to go there. We're just going to put it back into place and it should just snap and snap. And then I gotta wipe up my fingerprints. Yeah, here's a good side by side. The vanity versus our overhead light. That is essentially how it looks. That's the color difference between the two. Um, so much, much brighter. Pop out these little lenses. Oh, that's a little bitty thing. Look at that. Let's do it the easy way. Just get a screwdriver. Alrighty. All right, there it goes. Just some snaps. Dang. Uh oh, there we go. Perfect. Just wasn't in far enough. All righty. We'll put it back together. So this side is going to be identical to this. So I'm not going to bore you there. And then we'll just pick back up here. Let's actually just go ahead and do this next. Empty this out. And then the light's really right back here. Okay, stand corrected. There is no light on a Mach 1 in the glove box. So what I mean is right here, this little hole is normally what would be, there'd be a little switch there. So as you open the glove box, this will come out and then the light will shine. We're missing that little thing all together. So um, yeah, interesting to see all the differences between a Mach 1 and like a regular Mustang GT and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I guess Ford decided to save a couple of bucks. Something interesting if you've got a Mach 1, something else you don't have to worry about, I guess. So we'll just move on. Oh yeah, check that out. Super freaking bright. Love it. We got the back done as well. This is a home run guys. Diodynamics, 100%. Definitely buy these things. Diodynamics, go check them out. Links in description. Can't forget about the interior. So the interior is extremely well lit. So a dirty car, I've been cleaning it out. Yeah, everything looks freaking cool, man. I really am digging this new look. Really sets the car off. 